Did you know Grand Theft Auto was originally a racing game called Race and Chase? However, a glitch made the police cars go crazy, ramming the player in the game. And this glitch was so popular with testers that they rebuilt the whole game around it, creating GTA. You're listening to the Xbox Hub podcast, the official podcast of the xboxhub.com. For the latest Xbox news, reviews, videos, and opinions, make sure you visit the xboxhub.com. But for now, settle down, get comfy, and open your ears for some podcast delights. Hello, and welcome to the official the Xbox Hub podcast number one. My name's Gareth Briley. Um, I'm also known as the Lost Island with my game attack, but just I'm Gareth Briley's better. Don't call me that in the street. And I'm joined on my virtual left by Neil Watton. And hello. I'm like, hello, there's Neil. And on my virtual right by James Burke. Hello. I, do you know what? I've, I've known you for ages, but I've never said your names out loudly for, in full. So it's quite strange, isn't it? Have I said it right? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, never mind. What's your full name? What have I said wrong? You just missed the S at the end. Ah, oh, James Burks. See? It's all right. I'll forgive you until this is finished. Thank you very much. Um, now, in order for us to sort of get to know each other, I've devised this sort of five-question personality test that will get us everything we need to know about you in these five questions. Are you ready? Yeah. Do we have to have a personality? <laughs> you, you, that would help a little bit. Okay. We'll find that out now. Should we start with Neil? Yeah? Right. So, Neil, Um, your your first question is... uh, Yeah, go on. Sorry. Are are these quick-fire questions? I don't want you to spend hours on them. We haven't got time. We can't afford that kind of fee that goes on for too long. The electricity will cut out. So, Neil, favourite game? Of all time? Yeah. Uh, Forza Horizon 3. Is that the UK one? No. Where's that one set? The Australia one. Ah, well, okay. It might have even been two. No, I think you're right. No, I think it is Australia. I think it was three. three. Yeah, three. Yeah. Four's horizon three. Okay, TV. Four, four's good. Four's good, but um, the loading screens are too long. Yeah. What's your favourite TV show or film? Question two. Uh, the Bill. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Bill. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the bill. The bill that, that when did the bill stop airing in the UK? Oh, okay, about 1985, <laughs> but we won't worry about that. Okay, so the all time favourite TV programme, The Bill, that's one for the kids. Yeah. Okay, um, number three, favourite cheese? Um, very mature cheddar. Any particular brand? No, just any strong cheddar. I'm, I'm easy. Good, good. Question four. If you could have dinner with one person, who would it be, dead or alive? Oh, Christ. <laughs> Gaza. Paul Gaza. Gaza, that's a good... Ah, that's really good. Oh, damn, I wish I'd have said that. Yeah, the best footballer that's ever lived. Yeah. Paul Gaza. Don't worry, about, don't worry about the off-the-field stuff. But Yeah, the I know, because you just want to ask him millions of questions, wouldn't you? Yep, yep, definitely. And, Neil, if you had one superpower, what would it be? Um, it's funny you say that actually because I was I was watching an interview with Lewis Hamilton earlier, yeah. and it's something that Sky Sports, uh, Sky Sports, Sky Fun did, where they he got interviewed by some kid, I don't know, ten ten years old maybe, and he asked that question, and I think Lewis said he wanted to fly, and the kid said he wanted a hundred pairs of football boots. Now, a hundred pairs of football boots isn't really a superpower. But it got me thinking. I think I'd like to fly. <laughs> so you like to... Good. I thought you were going to say 100 pairs of football boots as a superpower. I couldn't work it out. No. No. Not it, at all. I it, can't work out why would you Why would you want 100 pairs of football boots. Maybe you just no, throw them at someone like a villain. Possibly. At one, in one go. Yeah. Knock them out. But uh, fly would be good. Okay, that's your five questions. That's good. We know a little bit more about you. Um, James. Hello. Hello. Are you ready for your five? Yeah, but what's the bill? 
I've never heard of that. <laughs> oh, oh shit, shit. shit. You don't need to worry about that. It's I'll, right. go, I'll, go, I'll go modern and on trend. Uh, 24 hours in A&E. <laughs> That's your <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> the bill at 24 hours in A&E. Yeah, no stranger things here. Any any fire engine TV programs you used to like? Just to get the whole three? Fireman Sam. <laughs> Good. Fireman Sam as well. Okay. So, James. Yeah. Your yeah. Fa- favourite game? Of all time, FIFA. FIFA. FIFA 96, 97, uh, 98, and on. 99, and onwards. Good. FIFA. Fair enough. Yeah. TV show or film? Probably The Office. Not, not the English one, the American one. Ah, good choice. I've seen, it, I've seen it a few times. How many times have you seen it? In the last week. Four, all the way through. Four times. The whole, all nine series. Yes, even the really bad ones without Steve Carell. Wow. Wow, we're learning a bit about your personality. That's here. commitment. That's right. Favourite cheese? Uh, dairy Lee. Dairy what, the little triangles? Indeed, it was not a triangle. I'm not interested. Are they still going then, Derry? Certainly are. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Can I jump it. in there and say I like a bit of Derry? Lee, but I've kind of gone off it in recent years. This, this is my interview. This, this is his interview. You don't do this in a normal Sorry. interview. You don't burst into the <laughs> into the meeting room and say, "Excuse I'm me." Saying, Derry Lee and ham sandwich used to be a staple of my diet. Wow. Go and wash the bill on catch up. Okay. okay. I'm there. And your superpower. Superpower. Um, to rewind time ah. and not agree to do this. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's really good. Let's let's cheer this all up. Good rewind time. Definitely against you. <laughs> good. Maybe that some. Of, only four questions. Maybe some of our yeah. listeners are saying the same okay. thing. Yeah, I missed a question, but don't worry. What did I miss out? Ah, oh, if you could have dinner with one person, who would it be? One person. Oh, that's a tough one. Maybe Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, the, the, the wrestler. Yeah, just to say, what are you doing, man? Just give it up now. Chill. <laughs> so you're basically coming right. to, um, you're basically coming to, you're writing to dinner to have a go at him. Yeah. And just say, you start a bit. You're done now. I, I think we've learned a lot about your personality, James, in those five questions. Good. <laughs> okay, and... Can, oh, yeah, can we ask you the same question? Oh, questions? yeah, ask them to me, yeah. I'll be Don't as quick. James. Can you remember the questions? What, what's your favourite game of Re- all time? I'm going to go for Red Dead Redemption 2 now. Because it's... Uh, right. Because it, it's one of the games that made me cry about a horse. Yeah. One, one of the games. One of the games, yeah. The other one's being horse racing in 2016. I guess. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, well, I just wanted to, I wanted to cry out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Um, what's your favourite cheese? Um, Edam. And the reason why? It's easy to peel. <laughs> you can't argue with that. No. Cheese on the go. Another question. Um. What is your favourite TV show or film? I am going to go for film. I'm going to go for The Godfather, the classic thing. I loved it when I first watched it. You might not know this, but it's a brilliant. It's all three films. Is, it, is that what got you into your line of work? What, The Mafia? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> no, I... Uh, yeah, it, it was. It's just seen how beautifully it was filmed, the acting, everything else, yeah. And adverts, yeah. <laughs> um, finally yeah, I've got th- I've got okay. dinner with one person who would it be yeah who would it be really? uh, my younger self to say don't do anything you've done don't stop it uh, that would be yeah. that's a really good call and on my superpower it'd be invisibility hmm. yeah what would you do when you're invisible I would I would go into shops and I was going to say steal things. Pick up some Edam and eat yeah, it. I'm going to get a lot of Edam. I'm going to stock Peel up on Edam. in the shop and nobody will see. <laughs> That's It'll a good be this, float, this floating Edam. <laughs> That's a good call. I like that. All right, let's, let's move on. So we got to know each other. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe the listeners know us and they hate us or they like us. It's up to them to work that out themselves. So let's go on to let's just talk about what we've been playing because this is a, this is a gaming podcast first and first and all. So let's talk about what games we've been playing. This it's a weird month this month, isn't it? It's August. We started this podcast for the first time in August, and there's hardly anything out. So Neil, what have you been playing, if anything? Um, I've been playing a lot of PUBG, just because I've discovered challenges. Oh yeah, tell us about the challenges. Um, well, you know, you've got to kill somebody, and to, to put, a, put a bit of context in it, I've been playing PUBG since game preview, and I've only ever killed 70-odd people it, across the years, and, and now suddenly these challenges come in, and they want me to kill like five people a week, and it's, <laughs> it's mad. And how many years but, have you had this game? Oh, when did it come out? 20, 2017 did it come out, maybe, in preview? Then it released last yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. Full, you've killed, possibly. Killed, well, I've been playing it a lot. Yeah, yeah. But I don't kill very many people. Have you Have you won yet? Have you got the chicken dinner thing? No, no, no. But my first ever go, I did really well, and since then, not so good. But obviously, everyone else is getting better, and I'm I'm old and slow and unreactive and. That's a, that's the thing. Neil's old. I'm quite old. Kid is younger, yeah. a lot younger. Yeah. And, oh, I, right. and he has to carry right, us a lot. A lot Kid being James, of course. Yeah, be James. people that don't yeah. know. And uh, me and Neil's reactions aren't great. We normally spent a lot of time playing Pudgy hiding. Um, in the toilet. In the toilet. And hopefully, we always hope that everyone else dies. And that's how we will win. But, but it's never quite happened yet, has it? No, we've been close. We've been very close. Been close. Would yeah. you, um, what would you like to see in Pudgy? What would you like to see... I'd like I'd like it not to crash my console whenever I go in the water. Tell us um, about that. What's happening there? Well, I don't know. I've got uh, an Xbox One X, the Project Scorpio Edition one, and it's a bit of a dodgy, dodgy console at times. And PUBG just seems to make it go nuts and want to take off. And just recently, whenever I've been going in the water, it's been freezing, dropping me out to the dash, overheating. You know, all the usual fun things that you get with a See, with I, a I, I, I had that me. as well. When we, when we, whenever I jumped out of the plane, it would crash for a while. And it's sort of yeah. overheated. It's you got, you got Scorpio, haven't you? You got the day one one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think it's, no, I, I think it's something to do with that console. Yeah. I've had yeah, it in a few know. other games as well, but there you go. So, Patrick and Kid, what have you been playing? A mixture. Ooh. A bit of Rocket League. Ah, you love a bit of Rocket League, yeah. Yeah, and a bit of cricket. What cric- what cricket game have you been playing? Ashes Cricket. Because everyone, everyone's talking about cricket at the moment. I thought, you know what, let's play some cricket. And I wish I hadn't. Do you actually is, like cricket? Uh, no, I haven't liked cricket since 2004, when I enjoyed it for two weeks. Was that when England won the Ashes? I think so, oh, yes. Right. Um so talk, talk us through your cricket. So Ashes Cricket is on the Game Pass at the moment, isn't it? It's free on the it Game is. Pass. And it looks terrible. For a, a game in this modern era, it, it just doesn't fit. In what it, way? It plays like the, the character models are just atrocious. Wow. And the gameplay is so monotonous. I mean, I've played about an hour and I've still in the same match. And it was about 10 overs gone. But that's cricket, isn't it? I was going to say that's it, cricket. It, it is cricket, but it's a game. So, I mean, I don't have time to play a game that long. I mean, how could you, how could you spice up a cricket game? Um, don't make a cricket game. Make it <laughs> somewhere else. Make it football, you mean? Power-ups. Power-ups, yeah. Why you, not? Maybe you could, you, you could, you know, you could be the ball. For the perspective of the ball going down, yeah, yeah. Or you can have like cars that drive around the edges <laughs> and knock the ball back in, like Rocket League for cricket. You for that's what you're asking yeah. for. Rocket yeah. cricket, yeah. Rocket cricket. Oh, that's a good one. Rocket Trade could be one of those new game modes in Rocket League, quite yeah. easily. Better than the basketball one. If yeah, anybody steals it, I've trademarked it. And Rocket it's League. Fine. Do you think there's going to be a Rocket League two, or do you think they're just going to carry on doing this? Little events I they think, do, seasons and stuff. I think if they ever do a Rocket League 2, it'll be the next 
generation. Okay. But for now, I think they're happy just to build upon what they've got. Why not? It's very addictive. I mean, it's an amazing thing because I think I bought it, you know, years ago, didn't we? For like 14 quid or something, didn't we? It's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great kind of game that goes on and on. And it's free on Game Pass as well, isn't it? So It's a bargain. Yeah. Absolutely. Bargain. Sounds like we're just advertising Rocket League and not Ashes Cricket. Should do. Um, I saw they've mentioned they're getting rid of loot boxes as well, aren't they? Are they? Yeah, the crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you can actually see what you're buying. Good, cool. good. That's very good. That was the only downside, really. Loot boxes become the evil thing, aren't they? Everyone hates loot boxes. Well, a bit like see, um, right. second season passes. Yeah. And cricket. Yeah. Um, I've been playing uh, Light Bearer which I've just done a review for on the Xbox Hub site. And Lightbearer is a DLC of We Happy Few. Now, We Happy Few, we first saw, I think, we in, in, and everyone wanted that to be the new Bioshock game. And the, the main game itself was, was really good. I really enjoyed it. I mean, it was long. There's lots to it. But it had this kind of open world area that was, was it wasn't, wasn't very just a bit loose and some survival elements that weren't very good and it, it was a bit glitchy but the actual when you got into a mission or you went into interior it, it was fantastic and the story was great the kind of concept and the act was great these DLC there's three bits of DLC have come out and the first one which I reviewed last month was a kind of like B-movie but the big difference between them all is they're very linear stories which I love so much better you don't have to, all the survival stuff's gone you're just on a little journey. And this latest one, Night Bearer, you play a sort of 60s rock star. It's a bit on the wane. And you wake up in your hotel room and you've got blood on you and you're, and you're trying to work out how you got there. But it's very funny. And you have a, as your weapon, you have a guitar. And you can, when your enemies rush towards you, you can do a sort of like a big chord that's called a face melter and they collapse. Or you can kind of serenade groupies and then they turn on each other. And it's a really lovely little kind of two-hour journey, and there's some really brilliant sequences, drug sequences that make, which I know everyone does drug sequences, but these are really clever, where the whole world changes, it becomes very little at one point. Um, but if you want We Happy Few, and you've got it, I really recommend to get the DLC, which I think is probably a little bit better than the main game. And that's what I've been playing. Do you have to have played the main game? To play the DLC, I don't think do you, know? you do. No, I think you can go straight. You know, it's not connected. I mean, they're separate stories in that world, completely. Yeah. I mean, in the main game, there's three stories. You play three. You do the stories of three individuals, if I remember. So this sort of like takes this and but condenses it into two hour slots. I have to say, I was really looking forward to that game, but then it went into preview, didn't it? Into mm. Xbox Game Preview, and it sat there for what seems like decades. Yeah. I'm sure it wasn't obviously. Well, it obviously no, wasn't. I, I think they. But it, I think they had the one enthusiasm idea. just yeah. went. Yeah, and but I think they had one idea of what it was going to be. They thought it was going to be this sort of. I think this. They sort of planned it being this sort of survival game, you know. Right. And then I think when it went into preview, I think people went, "We don't like that," so they had to change a lot of the mechanics. I, I think, and change it around. So, it was really good. I really enjoyed the main game, but it didn't quite know where it was. And I think it feels like they've settled down a bit now. But it's great. It's great. Cool. So, so there we have the third one, isn't there? Third one coming? Yeah, third one coming. I can't remember what that's called. I'm looking forward to that. So there we go. That's what we've been playing. Excellent. Let's go on to some news. The latest news going on. Um, we've all sort of picked an item each and we're just going to discuss it. So let's start with Neil. Me again. You again. Oh, well, look. Uh... I've picked one out from the last week. I don't know what day is it today. We're on a Wednesday, aren't we? I know we're recording on a Wednesday. Yeah. When are we going to have this live? Thursday, Friday? Yeah. Depends how drunk I get. People going to be... Yeah, okay. But um, I wanted to pick up on the Ghostbusters, the remake of uh-huh. Ghostbusters, the video game remastered. And I know this would be um, interesting to you, Gareth, because you get troubled by strange noises in the night. Oh, I do. I've, I've got and, a ghost uh, in my house. You've got a ghost that throws scissors around for you and things like that. So I think Ghostbusters, the remastered version, will be perfect for you. 
Um, I don't really remember the original game, but it was about a decade ago. I, I do. vaguely I remember. remember it, but I don't ever remember playing it in depth. But anything with Ghostbusters, anything with the theme tune, anything with the original actors, because I think they voice it all. Yeah. That would be perfect. You get proton packs as well, don't you? You do. So what more do you want, you really? Do. It's good. It was a good game. I remember it now. I remember it. And it was good. But I, I, it wasn't great as what people... I think it was just sort of like a three and a half out of five game or a... Yeah, sort of oh, I'm quite happy with that. As long as they don't go overboard on the pricing, which I'm sure they won't, seeing as a remaster. When are they looking at quid? being out? 20 quid, 25 quid maybe? Yeah. Comes out beginning of October. Something to play multiplayer, isn't it? It should be good fun. This must be the last of the 360 remasters. I hope so. <laughs> don't be silly. <laughs> They'll find something. <laughs> I mean, there's been a little bit of a gap, hasn't it, for the last year? I can't think of any that have come out. Um, yeah. Off the top of my head, there was, there was a period when they were coming out every week. Yeah. And that's what we're going to get in the next generation. We have Xbox One remasters. This is the problem, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. People will call for new games. New games will flop. People will call for remastered games. Some people will like them, some people won't. And it'll just go round in circles again. But that's the way it always goes. Oh, God, you depressed me, Neil. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Um, Sorry. But hey, I love games, really. Kid, have you played Ghostbusters? I haven't. I, I owned it. I never played it. I sold it within a day. Because <laughs> I regretted the purchase. Um, <laughs> you regretted it straight away? Yeah. So I don't know why they're re-releasing it. You're not talking about the really, really rubbish Ghostbusters, though, are you? That came out. I've got to be honest. To me, Ghostbusters is Ghostbusters. It could <laughs> there be there was one that came game. out three or four years ago, and that was. Crap. Oh yeah, no, not that one. No. Yeah, I remember this, that one as well. This is the one on three sixty. Now me and Neil, right. we remember because we're old. Or there was yes. a Ghostbusters game on the ZX Spectrum back in the eighties. Do you remember that? Uh, I had a Commodore one two eight. So oh, that's a great game. That was. I never had a Spectrum. Yeah. I was a bit, I was a bit posh. I had a like a disc drive and everything. Oh my god! Oh. I don't know. Back in the eighties. Back in the eighties. Um, yeah. yeah, I, I'm. It's a. Um, yeah, I, I'd give it a go, but I can't. I you, do you'll remember. play it because it's multiplayer. And I remember the Dan Aykroyd said, "This is the fourth Ghostbusters films when it came out because they had written yes. it, they all voiced it." Yeah, oh, yeah I do remember uh, that. The story, I, I can't remember exactly, but the story, did he he write the story? Yeah, he did, yeah. Because yeah. uh, there's another Ghostbusters film coming out soon, isn't there, I think? Oh, it's been... It's uh, the the director it's the, it's the, who's dead, Ramos, and his son's directing it, and it's got the original cast, I think. Okay. Because it's been like 30 years, isn't it? Yeah. Is it anniversary this year? 30, 35 years? I think 35 right. years, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. 35 Wow. Which is nuts. Yeah. Absolutely nuts. God. Okay, thanks, Neil. Ghostbusters. Eh? What right. about you, uh, James? What's your news item? Well, it won't be much interest to you, but they announced the um, release date for the WWE 2K20 this week. And yeah. the cover star, for the first time, it had a woman on it, as well as a man. Wow. Which was a Good step forward for WWE. Right. Because um, they've been pushing this women's evolution for a while, but now they're actually making steps to show that they, they mean business, you know, equality and all that. So it's they've the first gotten, time. Yeah. In in this series. You've been able to play as a woman for a while, though, haven't you? Yeah, but you couldn't really do much with them. But that's changed as well. Because you can use them in the career mode now, in the new one. Oh, so you couldn't ever use them as a from the no. start. Ah. No, as a not even the last year you couldn't do that. No, that seems wow. mad. That's what I mean. They, they they didn't really do much backing up the talking, but now they are. They're getting there. Um, um, J- James is a massive wrestling fan, as we we know, which is a lot of people are. Um, yeah, 
me and Neil, I mean, I played, I got, I had a wrestling game, I think it was free, um, I guess what's going on, and I couldn't get past the customer cu- customization. <laughs> uh, and that was, that's as far as I got. What about you, Neil? How far did you get? Uh, I haven't even bothered wasting my bandwidth to download one. <laughs> but a lot of people love those games, don't they? Oh, yeah. yeah. There's no doubt in that. No doubt in that. Are the games good? I mean, I when I think of wrestling games, I do think of people on their Nintendos in the sort of 90s. That's when they were huge, those games, weren't they? Was, everyone was playing those. The Nintendo versions were the best. Right. On the N64, people play them now. There was... Um, WCW NWO Revenge and people still rave about it and it is the best one they've ever made and they've never come close to and, and why is that? Why do you think that is? It's just the gameplay is just so addictive and it, it looks awful but you can just play a match and it's different every time and there's like four moves every character but it's just it just works. Is it basically stickman wrestling? Is that you what would, it is? Yeah, you would think so now. Yeah, looking back. Yeah. Um, but you just never be able to beat that. And because you've been disappointed with the last couple of games, haven't you? You were last year. Absolutely. Too. Yeah. Because the bugs and glitches and just just poor performance in the game and they just. Rushed it. They rushed it out too quickly. And I saw. I think today was that the. I think it, there's a there's a co-developer. I think or someone called Yukon. Is that right? Yukes. Yukes, and they split up the yeah. two things for the first time in twenty years. Is that right? It certainly is, and um, I think I don't really know why it's split up, but I think it's only going to be a good thing. Because then they can focus on maybe do a different project in the wrestling world that isn't really tied to WWE. Okay. And maybe they give it more time and effort. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's what and, would be and do you, do they still make a lot of money, the wrestling games? Oh, yeah. A ton of money. Right, okay. That's why they churn it out every year. Is that through DLC? And season passes. Um, no, I think it's just the main game itself, really. I mean, but they, add, have... they, add in, they add in characters, don't they, into the roster? Yeah, yeah, there's always an add-on here and there. And they're not cheap. But people will buy them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Do you think they'll also go down the current trend of dropping a couple of season passes? You know, season pass one contains four characters... Then a year later, Season Pass 2 contains another four characters. Blah, 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 blah. If, if they went past the yearly release, I think they would do. Oh, of because course. Every year, they'll stick with one. They could split it down to six months. They might split it into content and characters this time, though. So there's content like, being? Um, for the showcase mode. So, like, new, um, new matches and new storylines. So far, see that's yeah. good. I agree with that. Yeah, much better than new characters. Yeah, yeah. Because the characters you can make yourself, and they're not in the game. It's making yourself. It's much easier and cheaper. Well, why don't me and Neil have a go at the new one when it comes out? We'll make it. We'll, have, we'll see if I can get past the customization screen. And I maybe think we can I'm busy for the next six months. <laughs> <laughs> right. We could stream it. We'll, yeah, we can we'll stream, stream it. We'll stream it, yeah. We'll one go at least. Me, me against you. Have they still got um, giant haystacks? Can I play no. this? No. Definitely not. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> He's suddenly not interested. Yeah, I've gone now. I've gone <laughs> on to the next thing. <laughs> um, my, the last news story, is I, there was a little interview this week um, with uh, Frank O'Connor, who's the Xbox, uh, no, who's a Halo guy. Um, who's on working on Halo Infinite, the lead developer, I think. And he was in an interview with a YouTuber. Um, and he said, obviously, the special citizen for Halo Infinite will be Scarlet, the new Xbox. And we work with that hardware team to make sure the game shows up amazingly on it. 
but it also be on Xbox One, and it would look incredible. We're building it so it plays and looks fantastic on Xbox One, and then everything else is plus, 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 but we've got a few tricks up our sleeves that we're thinking about. So the, the big question here, without going into what the new Xbox is and stuff, Halo is their big launch title. It's their massive game. Yeah. This is it. And what do we think about it being cross cross generation because for me my original thought was i think you've got to you've got to just go halo is um the scarlet that's it the only way you can play this game is if you buy the console and it would sell consoles yeah but it was also piss off a lot of people okay all the xbox one owners and what do you Which, th- what we did there, there are a few what do you think this kind of... I mean, we're going to have lots of discussions about this, but what do you think are, is that lineup? What will be the Xbox exclusive Scarlet game? A Forza. Yeah. But that's what it was last time, wasn't it? Yeah. Is he Tycoon King? Looking how right. Rise 2? Who made Rise? That was Microsoft Studios, but I don't know yeah, who, they, they did that as a who or what. It's going to be an need ass- it's going to be an Assassin's Creed, isn't it? That's going to be, but that would be cross platform, and I think that would but, be. But Ubi- Ubisoft, would, yeah, Ubisoft to put that on Xbox One, yeah. as well. And if they, <laughs> they, they might even drop a um a new Just Dance to like the original Wii and the Wii U, yeah, and the the original Xbox like they do every year. Yeah, but, but they love doing that. Because I remember that when the Switch came out. They had the Zelda, then they had Zelda, the Breath of the Wild on the um, Wii U and the Switch. So they had two versions, and people say that the two versions aren't that dissimilar. And they were when they released them both, they said the biggest problem they had first of all was to try, they had to kind of like build up the Switch version of the Breath of the Wild to kind of go, you need to be playing it on this. Because yeah. they realized, the Nintendo realized, hold on, there's a bit of a problem here. There's not going to be a problem. Everyone's going to buy one of these consoles. We're going to buy one of these consoles, aren't we? Day one. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to happen. But there is that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just was interested. I was interested in thinking about this whole thing of going, how long do you have this kind of cross-generational, the games for it? It's like with Xbox One and Xbox 360, we had about a year or maybe two years, didn't we, when we, there was lots of the bigger games that were on both. Yeah, it, it was a good year, solid yeah, and then there was still some drips and drabs coming out of 360, for probably for maybe up until only two years ago, possibly. Mm. There was still some bits and bits and pieces. I remember the Mordor game. Is it the first Mordor? What's it called? That Mordor game. The Shadow of Mordor. Yeah, that was on 360, wasn't it? But you you would you wasn't allowed. You know the bit when they do what's it called the. Um, Nemesis. Nemesis, that wasn't in the 360 version, was it? So yeah. there was bits that weren't in certain versions. But it's really tricky as well. I, I was thinking about it this year, and I will, you know, we review games, don't we? So we will have games do. But it's hard, isn't it? Like this, you know, with cyber, the Cyberpunk game coming out in April yeah. next year, you know, there is a sense of people going, do they want to wait? Because they know they'll be able to play that probably on the new console as well. Yeah. It'd make more sense. That's what Rockstar did with GTA Five, though, isn't it? Yeah, they, didn't they? They, didn't they throw it on to 360, and then it took yeah. a good year to come to yeah, Xbox One. It did, it? yeah. It was just interesting. It was interesting. They said, "I, I really didn't. I didn't expect Halo to. I thought it was going to be on its own on that console, and that was it. That was going to be their big. I, I was didn't, but I understand, like you said, it was just." piss a lot of people off wouldn't it? it it would annoy a lot of people it, yeah yeah because okay we don't know how much this new console is going to cost but not everybody's going to be able to go and drop 500 quid or whatever it's going yeah. to be straight away i know people will save up and they'll have a year to save up or whatever but it's still a lot of money and yeah. not everybody will be able to do it and there's so many xbox ones out there and there'll be so many people that want to play the new halo that yeah. they, they have to do that. But like I say, maybe Forza, what, what would it be? Eight? Is that what it is? Yeah. Could be the only one that or, goes to... Or will it be Forza Horizon 4? Or 5 it is now. 
because there's normally a two year gap, isn't there, between those ones? And is that the is that the bigger game now? I don't, I don't know. In my eyes, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's the better game. I think it's yeah, yeah it's the better game, but only because track racing to me has just become a bit stale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and everybody wants open worlds, and the way that Horizon series has gone, Christ, you you can't complain one bit about that apart from the loading screens. Yeah, which, which are ridiculous. But um, where, just very quick, I know we're going off topic. Where would you like to see it if you had the new Forza Horizon? Where would you like to see the location? Space <laughs> on the moon. Moon. Okay, that's good. James, what would you like? Um, if Ralph's listening and he wants to go to the moon then I'll have a bit of the money thanks <laughs> sorry James what was that it, it, Russia I think I don't know why I like that I think, yeah Russia I think that's a good of, uh, open, yeah. open roads and... it's big enough I think it's a good call Russia mm. wow alright okay brilliant that's the news let's move on now we're going to do this next bit which is a we're going to do a little quiz game. And at the moment, what's our name for it? We've got Judge Losty at the moment. Now, Losty, I'm called the Lost Island on the Xbox. That's my game attack. And so everyone calls me Losty when we play. So we called, we, we, we're going to call it Judge Losty. But we're not sure. That's, we're not sure about that yet. So we're going to, I'll explain to you what the game is. And then maybe people can say what they want it to be called. And we can work out something better on later on. But the idea is, I pick a month and a year. So I might say 2007 January. And Neil and James have to pick their favourite game from that month that was released on any, any console. And they have to then appeal to me in one minute, they have one minute, to tell me why this is the best game ever for January 2006. Have we got a countdown? I've got a clock here. I've got a little clock oh, here that I'm going to put on. I mean, Rock you, the clock. Yeah, you're going to do it. And so that's the idea of the game. And then I will then maybe ask a few questions to each one, and then we will pick a winner. And that's going to be officially the Xbox Hub best game of the month and that year ever. Is that clear? Do you think that's clear enough? Or oh, I said those rules? You yeah, it makes right? sense. Yeah, good. Yeah. Right, who wants yeah, to go first? Sense. James does. James. Oh, no. You're going to go first. Now, I've got my little clock watch here. And I'm clock, gonna, watch. clock watch. <laughs> I like a clock watch. Brilliant. <laughs> clock watch. Do Are you sure you should be in charge? Just a strap with a massive, you know, huge clock on it. Yeah, okay, this is my clock watch. Right. Are you ready? I suppose what, so. What, what month have we got? Oh, you got oh, to tell yes, us this. Oh, yes, now. Yeah, the month. Oh, the month I chose is October 2010. So, James, right. go. Here we go. I think, for me, it has to be the Rock Band 3. Because um, you can tour all over the world as a band without ever leaving the house. I mean, that's priceless. You can get your snacks, your drinks, you can chill out, listen to great music. And... Everything about it just worked because there was you could have a guitar player, you could sing, you could bang the drums. Thirty seconds. Um, and they're putting the keyboard in as well. So there's a, it's a game that even out and drum fans would enjoy alongside slipping that headbangers. What what more could you ask for? And even today it stands the test of time. I think one of the best music, rhythm-based games, there's ever been. And, and that's, that's all I it. Need to say. That was good. Good. You did it in the time. Um, I've Rob, not practiced it or anything. No, yeah, you've been have you been a week practicing this. <laughs> yeah, just a week. <laughs> rock band three. What? So, is it the best of the rock bands? That's my question to you. First of all, I've never played a rock band band game. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, it really stepped it up by putting the keyboard in there. Because it, it's just completely random to s- sit there playing the keyboard next to someone banging the drums really hard or 
or singing out, I don't know, a bit of Queen. It's just surreal. I like you saying about yeah. having the snacks is the important thing as well. Well, yeah, you got to have snacks when you're playing. <laughs> Are they vegan snacks? You've got to sell this to Lossy. They better be. If they're, um, if they're not vegan snacks, he do doesn't want only to Only vegan snacks. Oh. When did Rock Band Free come out? Oh, October. <laughs> October <laughs> Have you heard the rules to this game? I just did a... Sorry, oh, my God. God. Back in 2010, there was no such thing as vegans. <laughs> what That's was, a fact. What was the best song <laughs> for 2010? Can you remember? From Rock Band. The best song? Yeah. Um, I think it was... For me, it was Before I Forget. Which was certain up. Ah, uh, okay. Probably hardcore. Right. Just turn that up. Cause a bit of mayhem. Good times. That's a, that was a very good with, pitch, James. With, with me and the lethal harmonies, as we were called. <laughs> could you play online yeah. and then? Could you play online? Could do. Yeah, okay. you could play people online. And it worked actually really well. The servers were good. Um, it was just brilliant. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. The, uh... can, can I um, can I just say something? You can't say yeah. anything. You can't say uh. anything. You can't come across. You're like the well, prosecution no. and defence. Uh, Go on. I then, what, do you say? Say? what do you Plastic think? instruments. He's trying to sell you something with plastic don't, instruments. Don't try to bribe the judge. <laughs> judge. Anyway. To be fair, yeah. the drumstick broke within about a week. <laughs> You've done yourself down. There, <laughs> what James. did you use then? Oh. A fork. Just one. Just one drumstick. I just one drumstick. That's what you needed. <laughs> like a maniac. Just banging in, in one teeth. drumstick, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, good. Right, Neil, let me reset my clock watch. Okay. okay. Oh, was yeah. that a whole minute, James had? Yeah, he was perfect. He was on the on the on the money. Yeah, okay. James. Go. Okay. Um I'm gonna throw a bit of a curveball in. Not go with uh, a big name. There were there were things like DJ Hero Two, but that wouldn't appeal to you. You know, you've got no musical taste. Um, Pinball FX 2, I could have put that one. But I'm going to go with Comic Jumper, The Adventures of Captain Smiley. One thing you need to know, it's from the team at Tis- Twisted Pixel, and it's powered by Beard. And I know you've got a beard. I know you like beards. That's the engine. That's what powered it. The following on from what Twisted Pixel did before which was The Moor and Explosion Man, which is close to one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, Comic Jumper, The Adventures of Captain Smiley, to give its full name. So you're going through different comic books to try and get his career back up and running. up. What? It's time's up. You didn't even give me 30 seconds. (laughs) You spent... It's been like an hour. (laughs) You spent 25 seconds... Talk to us about the games that you that we you were going to put in there. <sighs> anyway, it's powered by beard. That's all we need. Oh, so what is this game, Neil? I'm not any any idea about this game is. You play as Captain Smiley, <laughs> and he's a comic jumper, and yeah, he, he it's a it's a side scrolling kind of platform oh, I type thing. This game, yeah. Yes, 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 and he's got a mate called Star who's like a big smiley star, who's a bit kind of, bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all you need to know, really. Blimey. Well, before I make my decision, um, you could have had Enslaved, Journey to the West. You could have had Fallout New Vegas, Vanquish, no, Super Meat Boy. You could have had Dragon Age Origins, Fable 3. You could have had Red Dead, Undead, Nightmare DLC. It's a lot of big games there. In October, and s- which, which is why I went for the little one. I know, I know. Indie games of the future. I think I've made my decision, James. It's you with Rock Band Three. Mm-hmm. That's a good pitch. The snacks, the snacks got me. That so that is the sorry, would. the first game that is put there for the official game of the Xbox Hub. The best game of October two thousand and ten is Rock Band Three. Well done, do, we, do we put that up on a wall or something? Yeah, we should. We'll get a plaque made up. Yeah. We'll get a trophy. You know, yeah. you don't get we'll do something in Photoshop. It'll yeah. be fine. We are going to do, though, a little competition for listeners out there. And we want you 
to um, and the, we've got a little prize first. Well, let's say what the prize is before we say what we want to do because it probably lose interest. We, we've got a game to give away. Um, a, a lovely indie game called Super Star Blast. You're reviewing it at the moment, are you, Neil? I am. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all right actually. It's good fun. So we've got a code for that game. So it's a great shooter. And all you've got to do is you've got to say what your favourite game of October 2010 is and maybe write a sentence or a couple of words on why that is. And if you can leave that, this uh, podcast will be on the Xbox Hub YouTube channel. If you can leave that comment on the on the comment section underneath the video, that would be brilliant. Subscribe, of course. And then we'll choose the best and we'll, we'll announce it in two weeks who the winner is. I think that's good, isn't it? Sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah. very good. Um, so, we're nearly at an end here. Um, oh, we need to say what the month is for next time, don't we? Let me think. What is it going to be? It's going to be August 2014. Mm. That's going to be in two weeks' time when we do the next podcast. That's just before Xbox One came out, isn't it? Yes, it is. It or was that 2013? 2013, mm. 13, yeah. Uh, ah, so we've got a year. That's fine. Ah. And before we go, let's just say, what what are we looking for? Before, before the next podcast in two weeks, what are the things that are coming up that we're looking forward to the most? Uh, James? Uh, just living in every day, really. <laughs> keep it light, James. Keep it light. He <laughs> needs to be playing cricket, remember? Yeah, exactly. You've got to uh, look forward to the best things. And that's, uh, uh, there's not much in the gaming world at the moment. No, you're so. right. So you're, no, not, really. you're not looking for, forward to anything coming up in the next two weeks? No, I'm not in gaming, unfortunately. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty nice. That's worked well. Neil? Um, there's a little indie game coming out called Exception. Ooh. Um, one of our guys is reviewing it at the moment. Ooh. But it's what? a rotating action platformer. Well, that looks quite cool. It's very bright. It's very. It looks very quick, which... Doesn't normally appeal to me, but yeah, looking forward to playing that. When's that out? Do you know? Um, I think it's another week. Yeah, so I think the thirteenth of August, something like that. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, yeah, looks cool. Anything else? Other than that, it's all a bit quiet, isn't it? Oh, you're depressing uh, me as well. We're, we're oh, waiting, waiting for Borderlands, really, which is start of September, isn't it? First week of September. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So, um, I think everybody's waiting for Borderlands. I've got two things, though, because I'm not the doom or gloom of you two. <laughs> oh, okay. Every day is a bonus for me. Um, I've got No Man's Sky, which is a game that I love, and it's got its um, big new update on August the 14th. And in the update... Which is, which is called... Remind Beyond. Me the name. Beyond. Beyond. Yeah. Beyond. I think it is yeah, good. that's right. Yeah, because yeah, it was next before, wasn't it? Now that's it's right. beyond. Yeah. In the in this one, I think it's VR, which is a big thing that we can't play, of course. Um, there's lots more multiplayer action, and there's a third big expansion that we don't know anything about yet. But I've been playing, gone back to it after a while. It's such a, I, I love it. If you like just wandering around, examining and and just exploring things. I went into one planet yesterday. It was a planet made of bubbles i was just so happy just wandering around in this bubble world but that's me that's why you are so happy yeah i know maybe we should all play it i think we should all get on no man's sky it might help yeah yeah it's, it's a lovely it's game. the depression of pub pub g doesn't it it does definitely it does well that's it that's our first ever pop- how do we feel do we feel all right wasn't it? do we feel you've done an all right job how long was that we're still going, yeah. We're not doing that. We're not. This is oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we've got another what five minutes. So throw five minutes on top, and yeah, we've got forty-eight minutes. We've done. That's not bad, Perfect. is it? Perfect. Right. All right then, everyone. So goodbye from Neil. Goodbye, Neil. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, okay. James. Goodbye. Remember to do our competition. So all you got to do is go into our YouTube, look at the podcast there, leave a comment at the bottom that says um, October two thousand and ten. What was your favourite game and why? And we'll announce a winner in two weeks' time. So thank you very much for listening. Um, Subscribe, you'll see all the stuff. And see you later on. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the official podcast of the XboxHub.com. 
You'll be able to find all the notes of this show over at www.thexboxhub.com slash podcast. You can also check out our social feeds on Twitter and Instagram at the Xbox Hub or search for Xbox Hub on Facebook. 